It starts with thread, woven into rolls of fabric, then cut to proper size and shape. Shapes are stitched together to form a t-shirt, which begins the story of feeding the orphans. When I was 10, God gave me a vision to design a t-shirt, and he told me to sell this t-shirt and then give all the money back to the orphans of Ghana, Africa. And today, that t-shirt has provided thousands of kids with food, water, education, but also, most importantly, the love of Christ. The t-shirt proceeds provides money to pay for meals, medical care, and so much more. While individuals have been buying these t-shirts over the years to help care for the orphans, there has been a growing movement within church communities across the U.S. called Forget the Frock, which celebrates a holy day a little differently. For many, Easter is a time to don their Sunday best, which oftentimes means a trip to the store in search of the perfect pricey frock, aka dress, to celebrate the resurrection. Hundreds and thousands of dollars are spent each year for frocks only worn once or twice. However, this movement has churches saying, forget the frock. They'd rather put their money toward a t-shirt that will feed an orphan. As a result, thousands of orphans are getting meals and needed care as a growing number of churches exercise true religion by simply purchasing Feeding the Orphan t-shirts. You can be a part of this movement too, not just at Easter, but year round. Simply put, whenever you buy a Feeding the Orphans t-shirt, you are feeding an orphan. $20 for one shirt provides 48 meals for one orphan. And unlike an Easter frock, you can wear your t-shirt time and time again to help spread the word. Go to feedingtheorphans.com. Org and order now.